Yeah, hi everyone, Jason here, Robot Law Miles Australia. Um, today we're going to do a quick video on how to connect your Works Android up to, to two individual iPhone, or two individual uh, mobile phones. Um, we do this a lot to try and diagnose whether the issue with connections uh, can be to do with your actual Wi-Fi unit itself, with your with your home network, um, or whether it's uh, to do with the robot. So, if you're having any issues trying to get your robot connected to Wi-Fi. Uh, then this is a really quick and easy test you can do to try and work out whether there's anything wrong with your robot versus whether it's just your network that, you're, that um, is causing the problem with your connection. So to do this uh, we use two phones. Um, so one, of the, one phone needs to have a 4G connection or a connection to the internet, um, not through a Wi-Fi. So it has to go back through the actual 3 through your 4G, um, through, through your mobile network. Uh, so we use one device, which is this one here, we're going to use uh, to set up a hotspot and then we're going to use the other device to actually log into that hotspot, okay? So to do so, this is iPhones, both of these phones are iPhones, uh, but in the iPhone we go into settings, we go into personal hotspot, we turn on the personal hotspot, um, and that will broadcast a Wi-Fi signal from this phone, it'll broadcast it out so other phones can connect to it, and then it shows you the password there that you can change to whatever you like it to be. We then grab our other phone, and uh, so this is the phone we're going to use to actually connect to the robot. It's just the, so what we need to do with this one is we need to make sure that it's connected to the same Wi-Fi connected as the robot. So we're going to connect, go into settings, we're going to go into Wi-Fi, and then we're going to connect to this, this phone, which this one's called Michael's iPhone. So we'll connect to this one, and it asks us for the pass, passcode, which is the passcode that's on the other device. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll join and that will allow us to join the network. So now this phone is now operating off the internet from the other phone, if that makes any sense. Okay, from there we go to our to our actual Landroid app now that we're connected to the same network. So we're coming to our Landroid app. Uh, my Landroid's got quite a, my phone's got quite a few connected to it. Um, so if yours hasn't got anything connected to it, you, it might just come up to a, uh, to a screen with the camera on it only. Um, if you've already got one connected, then you can either add one or you might already have it connected. Uh, you can go into that as well. Um, so for this this uh, this test we're doing now, I'm going to just add one more robot, and, and that takes us to the screen that asks us to to look for the camera. We then scan the barcode or the uh, the QR code inside the robot, and, like you normally would. Okay, then ask you if you want to connect with Wi-Fi or Find My Landry or Radio Link. You want to select Wi-Fi, and in there it'll actually automatically. Um, choose the Wi-Fi that, that the phone's connected to. In this case, it's Michael's iPhone, and we've got to put the same passcode in here again, as the, which is the Wi-Fi password. So this one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We go OK, and then ask you to go into the robot. Gives you the screen here and tells you exactly what to uh, what to do. So we go into the screen. We go across one. We select settings. And then go next, it then says go down to app link. So we go down to app link and we select that. It then says select OK on the app link. It's now it's running and then here we press connect and then that's running. So we now have the, the, the robot and the phone are both looking for the Wi-Fi network. On the robot it now just says app link, app link successful and on the phone it comes through and asks you to name your robot which you can name it to, to whatever you like. And um, we'll just call this one demo, uh, demo 150, and we go OK, and that's it, and you're connected, connected there. So the phone here, actually, it's probably a curious one, it's come up with a, a missing Landroid position. So that's just the uh, position that's uh, in the cloud, in the in the Landroid cloud, asking where the robot is. It's just gone away by itself, so it sent the position to it as, as we spoke. So that should get you connected. Um, if this still fails when you try this, 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 this method, uh, then yeah, do, do get in touch with us and we can try and work through exactly what the, what the problem is. But most times you can do this with any, with any Landroid and pretty much any phone. Um, it's just the Wi-Fi connections in your home that you can quite often have different security settings in your Wi-Fi that, that will cause issues. So if you try this and you can get it to, get it to connect this way, um, but you can't get it to connect to your home Wi-Fi, well then the issue is going to be to do with your home Wi-Fi settings and how it's set up. Um, your network must be a 2.4 gigahertz signal um, going out of your network. A lot of, uh, a lot of routers these days, uh, Wi-Fi routers, have actually, are actually set to dual band. So they actually, they actually submit 2.4 and 5 gigahertz at the same time with only one um, selectable uh, Wi-Fi network. 
uh, when you go into it. So, yeah. So if you if you do have issues uh, with connecting to your Wi-Fi, the only thing you can do is to go into your into your router settings uh, and try and disable disable the five gigahertz signal for a period of time. So you've only got so you're only transmitting the two point four gigahertz. But if you have any issues like that, please get in contact with us, and uh, and we'll do our best to help you out. So if you have any questions, please uh, direct them through email if you like to sales at robotlawnmowers.com.au. Uh, you can check out our website and find out plenty of information on there. Uh, many different videos at www.robotlawnmowers.com.au. Or you can find us on Facebook. Just look for Robot Lawnmowers Australia. Thanks.